Hey guys, what's up? Uh, basically, the video that you're about to see has been chopped severely. Uh, it was filmed a few days ago. It was about 25 minutes long, um, through and through. Can't really put that much on YouTube, so that's why it's in two parts. I didn't even know we were talking that long. And even then, we didn't even get to finish uh, what we were talking about. Like, we were chatting throughout the whole thing, so I chopped it up pretty severely. Hi. Hi. I'm Ryan. I'm Janice. And today we're going to talk about globophobia. Globophobia. Which is the fear of balloons. And the reason why we're talking about that is because it's very close to home. Do you want to take this? My name is Jen, and I'm a globophobic. Hi, Jen. Hi, Ryan. Mm. Never been to a globophobic synonymous meeting in your life, have you? No. So, I am scared, not scared, terrified, petrified of balloons. Um, this is fine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can touch the balloons when they're deflated. I don't like the feel of them at all. And I don't like the sound they make. Even when they're, you know, babies. I think that there should be more social <laughs> acceptance for people with phobias. Because it's really not easy. I personally don't have that many phobias. I'm scared of spiders, I'm scared of the dark, and I'm scared of heights. But I can live with them. Jen's terrified of balloons. To the point where she can't even be at work if they have balloons. Because it scares her. And then she's gone. She's not herself. Well, an incident happened where they said that there were no balloons going to be on my floor. Because at this point they knew. And they kept bringing them up and they kept bringing them up. And I got, like, I get the shakes, I get the sweats. I lose irrational thinking, I scream and I cry. I don't even know because I kind of, at that point, I don't know what's going on anymore. I black out, I don't remember. I remember just things like just the sentence or maybe a face, but I can't put a memory together of what exactly happened. But either way, I ran to my team leader and I said, I, I can't be here, like I, I have to go. I don't remember if I took the stairs down or if I took the elevator down. I don't remember getting to the car, like leaving the building. I remember at the car I was shaking so bad that I couldn't even get my key into the key lock. Um, I don't remember getting into the car and I don't remember driving home. The next thing I know I'm in the living room and she's hugging me. Uh, apparently I left at like 8.30 and this was like quarter to 11 or something, was it? Yeah. So it took me that long to get home. I don't remember a lick of it. I mean, that's what happens when you have a phobia, especially when it's something that might live. It's rough. It's really rough because who thinks of people being balloons? Like, scared of balloons? And who thinks that it's okay to be sensitive to that? Like, who thinks that? Like, I can say it's, it's stupid. I know it's stupid. I laugh at myself because it's stupid, but it's not, it's, it's not funny. When there, there's an episode, I don't remember it. And it, it's actually kind of scary because I don't know how I was driving. I don't know if I was driving erratically or if, if I was driving fine. Apparently, they say that uh, in an instance like that, your mind, your rational mind is still there. So you're, you do everything normally, but your, subcon is it your subconscious takes up or something like that. So basically, even though I don't remember doing it, I was doing everything that I would have normally been doing anyway. I went through hypnotherapy for it. And I called the labor board that day right. that you came home. Yes, and I can't cater to fears, too, which is ridiculous because it's a mental mm -hmm. illness as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I went to, uh, I called the hypnotherapist and, and unfortunately, $90 a session, you know, I went and it's weird, because I, I was laughing at the thought of hypnotherapy, really. I'm a firm believer of hypnotherapy. I would I never personally use it, but I'm a firm believer of it. I, I just don't, I, 
couldn't put how hypnotherapy would work, right? So I go there and she puts me out and I wake up and she says, do you know how long you've been, been under for? And I, she has a window behind her and I, it was dark and when I came in it was light so I'm like, I don't know, 45 minutes? She's like, two hours. I grocery shopped. Two hours! I drove around. I don't know. But you told her in session number one, though. I told her in session number one why I was scared of balloons. But I'm not ready to know why I'm scared of balloons. Um, something about my subconscious is, doesn't feel that I'm ready to know. And she says that the fear is not the balloon itself. The fear is... There's something that happened when I was a child, and I put my fear into the balloon instead of what actually happened. So it could have been like my parents fighting, and a balloon was there, so whenever I see the balloon I think of a fight or something like that. I don't 100% understand it. She made it sound a lot better than what I'm doing. That makes sense. Yeah. So I mean, <coughs> deep down I know, but I don't know. I can't tell you why I'm scared of balloons. I know at the age of seven there's a picture of me on my birthday and I'm holding a big wad of them. So you weren't scared at seven? I wasn't scared at seven. I don't remember that birthday, however. It's weird. Mind is a weird thing. It's a very weird thing. I love the mind. Yeah. The mind is crazy. Yeah. Sometimes I wish I could be a head and test. Yeah. That makes it cool. So, um, you know, I, c I can laugh at my fear and think it's stupid and think it's, you know, I know it's stupid, but I can't help it at all. This is pre-hypnotherapy. Uh, when I saw a balloon, I freaked out. They were looking at me, I didn't like the way they looked, because they looked at me, especially those um, see-through ones. Not like these ones that when you blow them up, they're like just clear ones, like the clear ones. Mm. And, and what else do you have a real problem with is helium machine. Yes, the sound. I can't stand the sound. Yeah. To hear a balloon being blown up, you have to leave. Mm -hmm. What else? Oh, I don't like the sound. I don't like the smell. I can smell them. My my sensitivity to latex is pretty, pretty great. Yeah. Oh, but then after, like, hypnotherapy, I could actually touch one. Yeah. Like a blown up one, and I could actually, like, touch it. I didn't it. like it, but I could still do it. I could get that close to, to touch it. We were at Home Depot, and they had balloons for whatever reason. They always do. And I was like, for some reason, I'm compelled to go touch it. And Ryan's like, well, do it. Do it. And I was like, I'm scared. But I went and I did it. My parents got married, and uh, they had balloons at their wedding. And they, they tried really hard to be sensitive and have balloons. But, but they sat me right next. Yeah, but sensitively they sat right beside the balloons at the head table. Well, we weren't at the head table, but we were right beside the head table, and they had like balloons over here and balloons over here. And it was a beautiful day. It was in August. The weather was nice. There was a little <coughs> bit of wind. A little bit of wind. In fact, if I could find that video, because mm -hmm. there is a video of me freaking out. Yeah, there's a video of her because that little bit of wind caused a <coughs> wee attack. They attacked me. <coughs> they attacked her. They attacked me. They were like here, and then they were like, ooh, and I'm like, mmm. And it's not even like, you know, it's really anybody's fault. Truth be told, I think that sometimes she <laughs> attracts them. I don't attract them. I think that, you know, they didn't attack anybody else. They dance. Have you ever seen them, and they're, like, at a like whatever a wedding or whatever and there's a bunch of them on the like tables and they're all in the air and they're, they're they go like this and they kind of dance in this way and they go come closer that's like i feel like the corner in it. i know that they're not but that's definitely what it feels like it's i can't even describe it to make people like understand 